Hello everyone, welcome to VB Advanced. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video, we are going to talk about the muscles. Oh wow. You don't want to see some muscles? Here are some muscles. So let's add some muscles to Microsoft Excel. Right. Isn't Microsoft Excel muscular enough? Yes, Excel is already quite muscular, but we are going to add two more muscles to Microsoft Excel in this video we I am going to talk about the first muscle and the first muscle, muscle is active x control which are not built in by Microsoft Excel but which are present in your computer so here we are with our excel workbook in the developer menu in the insert in the control section in the insert icon we have this active x control section you can see that this is the button and this is the combo box checkbox label this is label this is option this is spinner and in the last one the bottom right is more controls so what is this more control more control is something that is giving you access what is not built in right these controls are not built in in microsoft excel but these controls are present in my computer these are based on the software i have already installed in this computer so these are the objects activex objects which were developed by someone and they were part of the software i have installed and these can be used by anyone so if i go and look at these controls you can see there is number of controls all the softwares which have installed micros uh, activex controls are present in this list but are they compatible with microsoft excel this is the question for example, if I click on this Windows Media Player, I hope you can see it. Yeah. And say OK. And then I drag and create this window. Here comes my Media Player window. This is the ActiveX control. Right click. It has some properties. Where is the property window? Here is the property window. OK. And if I double click on it, I would be able to see the code. So here is the code. But will I be able to play a video in it? Well, it's, it can be done, but it's not that simple. You can, if you are interested, you can go and check out YouTube. But the point is, it's not very straightforward. So this ActiveX control is not 100% perfectly compatible with Microsoft Excel. But I am able to find two controls that I'm going to discuss today. Just let me delete this first and now insert. Let's insert Microsoft Ink Picture Control. This is a control that I think Microsoft Ink uses to input, take input in the form of uh, writing and turn it into text. Let's invoke this and draw a canvas you can see this yeah canvas and here we go we have our activex control that was not part of microsoft excel excel but that's this is microsoft inc so if i turn off the design mode and then i move my mouse over this canvas you can see that this is a pointer now so if i say I am trying to type with my mouse. So this will be hello world. Right. So let me save this file. Save as browse. Let's say active x ink. Right. So this is the file save and let me close this file by pressing ctrl f4 
and reopen this file. Enable contents, yes, enable, and this the hello world is also saved. So now I have a writing board in my worksheet. So let's try to invoke another ActiveX control, and that is Microsoft Slider, I believe it was. Microsoft Slider Control, I am not sure uh, with which software this installed on my system, but this is here in my system. So here it is, this is the control. And uh, if I turn off the design mode and try to click on it, it's not working. Yeah, now it's working. You see, this is not 100% compatible. If you look at it, I have this control over here, but I I can click over there and I click here at times it works in uh, in this position and at times it works here so this is not 100% compatible but this is uh, present and can be invoked in Microsoft Excel the idea is that you should be able to understand how to invoke and how to take output of that control and save it in your cell any cell so let's right right click or uh, view the code. Double click. You can go to code, and when the slider is clicked, we can say range a ten dot value is equal to what? What should be the value? Is it, this should be equal to the name of the name of the control, and that is slider one this is always after sub and before this underscore so any activex control you can find its name after the word sub and before the underscore and this is slider one so close this and i hope you can see this clearly yeah so let's now click here and you can see this five appearing or the zero appearing let me yeah Okay, so this is 5, 10, and likewise. And what if, what if, let me drag it, go back to design mode and drag it here. Maybe this will now appear at one place. Yeah, now it's appearing on one place. I don't know why, but there's some compatibility issues if it is near to the top this it is displayed somewhere else right click let's go to its properties and in the properties uh, there are certain settings what what i uh, that i can change for example the maximum values 10 i can change it to 100 and the large change is 5 okay let's that's it let's try this now now you can see there are number of uh, options available I can drag it so if I can drag it here if this is 44 then 48 and then 57 and this is the large click area so the idea is you can use these ActiveX controls this will add muscle to your Excel because this is not something already built in this is not Microsoft Excel. This is an ActiveX control which is compatible with VBA. These are VB controls and you can invoke them in your Excel sheet. And always remember, always remember that output of that um, ActiveX control would be its name. Right? So I think this will be helpful. Give it a try. And if you like the concept, if you like the idea, give this video a thumbs up see you in next video and in the next video we are going to add another muscle